We are at the Maybe Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is SingFest 2010. Sitting next to me is Pat Barker, and he is the man who brought the Mark Trammell Trio into the world of Mark Trammell Quartet. Yeah. And uh, Pat, welcome to Gospel Music today. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. Now, we can go back to uh, the uh, Dixie Echoes yeah. with you. Uh, how, did, how did you get started in Gospel Music? Uh, I've been listening to it you know, for as long as I can remember. And it's sung locally, you know, in my hometown of Oxford, Alabama. And then um, really the first group I sang with that traveled abroad was the Diplomats. Uh, I sang with them for a couple of years and got to know the Dixie Echoes, uh, filled in for Billy Todd one time when he was having some heart surgery done and filled in for a couple of weeks. And, and the friendship just grew from there. And then when Tracy left, um, they called me and uh, I felt good about it. You know, I'd never traveled full time and that'd be it. So I uh, got the wife and at that time we had one child, moved down to Pensacola and had a great time. They were wonderful. When, uh, when you were first, uh, the, when your first interest in gospel music, who were the people that you, that you enjoyed listening to? Oh, I loved so many. I, really the cathedrals were the top for me. I just thought George and Glenn and at that time Danny and Mark and uh, Roger. That's kind of the group that I fell in love with first and then just loved them all the way through. But I, you know, later on I listened to the Weatherfords, uh, Blackwood, some of the the more classic stuff, Statesman and things like that. But um, I love all of it. I, I do. I, I even, I love some of the contemporary music, but just good Christian music. I love it, but the cathedrals were top-notch. Loved them. Loved them. You're not alone in that opinion. <laughs> we enjoy uh, each month when we get the singing news and we open yeah. it up to uh, Where Are They Now yeah. by Pat Barker. Where do, where do those stories come from? You know, it's just people that I have known and loved. This month we did it on Berman Porter, and he's one of my favorite bass singers. And a lot of times, you know, it'll come from, people will come to our table and they'll say, do you know where so-and-so is, just fill in the blank. I get Parker, Jonathan, and all these different people. So a lot of times there's just a situation where I can, can call them up and talk to them and uh, be able to write a good article. So uh, really it just comes from the fans, the people who come and say, we miss so-and-so, where are they at and what are they doing? And, and I'll call them up and ask them <laughs> and then write about it. But I love doing that article. Stuart Varnado was writing it. Yeah. And he got so busy, he just wasn't able to do it anymore. And so he asked me if I'd do it. And so it's, it's an honor for me to be a part of that magazine. Well, we enjoy it. You do a good job. Let's catch up with the uh, Mark Trammell Quartet. Yeah. Uh, have you guys been recording? We have. We actually, the Echoes allowed me to record a CD while I was still with them. I, I gave them about a three or four week notice that I'd be leaving. And Mark wanted to do a CD as quickly as possible. So right when we made the announcement, the next day, I went into the studio, and they had already recorded a, a trio album just a couple of months before that. And I just added my voice to it, and we sold it as the first Mark Trammell quartet album. But we're going to be going into the studio in May and recording our really first full-blown quartet album. And I am thrilled to death. We're looking at songs, listening to new songs, pulling out some of the old classic cathedral songs, and uh, Mark has sung with the best, Kingsman, Gold City, Cathedrals, Greater Vision, you know, you, he's just a wealth of information. So we're, uh, we're looking at some great songs, great arrangements, and we're excited to get into the studio and record, yeah. And that'll be our what around quartet convention. Hopefully, we're looking at late August, early September, but definitely, Lord willing, by quartet convention, we'll have the new one out. Yeah. Well, Pat, thank you very much for talking to us on Gospel Music today. God bless you. I appreciate it. I was telling you, I see a lot of your stuff on the computer, on YouTube, and and y'all do a great work, and it's an honor to be a part of it. I appreciate it. Thank you. There's more coming up on Gospel Music today.